the Middlebrook Retail and Leisure Park just outside Bolton is home to around 40 leading stores. The Reverend Caroline Tracy from the Horridge and Rivington Benefice is one of the Middlebrook Angels, bringing a Christian presence to the site. Oh my goodness, a whole, a whole <laughs> trolley full of shit. You're yeah. very honest. No day is the same for Caroline, often full of the unexpected. We found a shopping trolley left abandoned by, by, by a car in the car park. Hello there. Caroline's particular responsibility is the Asda Superstore. And like all people on the shop floor, she begins by signing in. Hello, Marie. How are you? Hello, Caroline. Hey. How are you today? I'm great, yes. Oh, it's okay. Halloween. Are they going to be spooked downstairs Very. with Luke playing Very. Dracula? <laughs> Marie is having problems coming to terms with it being her 50th birthday. I was quite upset the night before. I told her, didn't I, because I didn't want it happening. But then when I realised, you know, that all these other stars are 50. See, I can't say the number, I hate the number. <laughs> Brad Pitt, Courtney Cox, all the banners, blow up Zimmer frame, <laughs> waterproof <laughs> underwear, everything. Honestly, they did. Uh, and primarily I'm there for those who work for ASDA. Oh, oh, look at that. That is so I'm great. there to chat to the staff, to listen, um, if they would like to share with me any problems or issues, but also their joys as well. Um, so I'm there as, a, as, a, as somebody to turn to if they need that. Have you got your Halloween costume? Not yet, we have no loot today. In my store on a Thursday, I spend some time on the shop floor, I speak to staff and yes, there have been times where staff have had to, uh, had to face redundancies, uh, bereavement, um, but joys as well. There was one lady who was uh, so thrilled to hear that she was pregnant that she showed me her ultrasound picture of her baby. So you're going to go out now and have your cigarette, are you? Uh, yeah, I am. Come on, Dracula, what are you doing today? Oh, They're wonderful. While. Halloween can be a tricky time for clerics who might be ambivalent to the occasion. <laughs> Caroline knows that Lou is a deacon in his local church and wonders how the congregation would react. One or two would point the finger, I would imagine. But it's, I suppose it's how you feel in yourself if you feel wrong for doing it. But I know in my heart I don't feel wrong for doing it. We don't just listen to the staff, we also have events on that take place through the year. Um, so, uh, for example, we've got Remembrance coming up, uh, so we'll have a small Remembrance service. We have crafts at uh, Christmas and Easter, where we can share the Christmas and Easter story. Hello. I feel that what I'm doing at Middlebrook is bringing the church there. And Caroline seems to have succeeded in stripping away the stuffy image of the church to reveal its central message of love and concern and relating that to the people she cares for. But let's let Marie have the last word. It's not always about religion, it's about everyday things. She's lovely. You can talk to her about anything, and I have done, haven't I? Told you a few of my um, problems or my worries, and she's great. This is what these two lovely ladies in the office has done for me. Treating me like a star. <laughs> Hollywood, here I come. <laughs> Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> Over the road, that's the only place that I've got. <laughs>